In this video, we are going to deep dive into DV5's module groups, which is DV5's latest and greatest feature. And by the end this video wraps up, you will be equipped to use it like a pro for your next project. You will know exactly what it is, how it works and how you can use it in your next web design project. So if all that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you are watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DV Visual Builder. Now before we dive in, I would like to mention two things. First, DV5 is ready to use on new websites but we don't recommend you migrate your old sites to db5 as yet and along with that if you want to deep dive in this topic and learn more about it we have created a complete blog post that you can find in the video description below so once you are done with this video make sure you go ahead and check out the blog post in the description below i'm sure you will find it helpful Now in db5 we have a fresh container element that lets you bundle multiple modules like heading, text, images or buttons into one tiny manageable unit within a column. And once you group them all, you can now style, move and duplicate the entire set with a single click. So let me show you how exactly it works. Alright, so here we are inside db5 visual builder and let's see how we can use group module. So let's start from the very beginning. Let's remove all of this. And let's say we want to add a new section and we are going to start with three column layout. And now let's go ahead and start adding our modules. So if we click on this plus icon here, we can see our group module showing here. In order to access group module, make sure you have the latest version of DB5 public alpha. Once you click on this, we can now start adding different modules. We can choose any module from here. We can add new rows to create rows inside rows or we can choose anything from our library. So let me just close this one. And now in order to have a better look, let's click on this X-ray icon here so that we can see outline of everything. And now let's go ahead and start by creating a very simple design here. We click on this and let's start adding our heading first. Then we will add some text. And then we will add a button. And now we can go ahead and do all the styling for all these three elements. For example, I just go ahead and click on my heading. And if I go to design, I can change the font to maybe this one. Or maybe I can align this to center as well. And I can go ahead and do the styling for my button. So let me just change the button background very quick. And align this to center as well. And for the main group, let's go ahead and add some background color as well. Like this. And let's add some padding so that we can have some space here. Alright, so we will add a 20 pixel padding. Now this one looks much better. And for the final step, let's add some border radius as well. Alright, so now let me just go ahead and close the X-ray view. And this is the final look of our group module. And now we can go ahead and duplicate this to use it anywhere on our site. Or we can go ahead and right click on this and save it to our library. Let's give it a name. And if you want, you can go ahead and save it to your DV Cloud as well. So for now, let's go ahead and save it in our library and we can use it anywhere we want. So let's go ahead and add a new module here. We go to our library and here is our group module. Let's click on this. And boom. So here we have our module from our DV library. Now this is just a very basic example of how we can use the group module. If you go ahead and visit our blog post here, you can scroll down and here you will find some practical use cases as well. So this is how it's going to look. You can create a CTA section and again, save it to your library and use it anywhere on your site. Or maybe you want to create a testimonial section or maybe you want to create a product or a category grid to showcase your products. Or maybe you want to create a restaurant menu. The possibilities are endless. Now you might be wondering why module groups are such a big deal. 
Well, they are more than just a handy trick. They bring a whole new level of control and efficiency to your design. For starters, they are built with DV5's future in mind, ready to pair perfectly with upcoming features like Flexbox and Query Loop Builder. If you want to learn more about Query Loop Builder, make sure you check out the video that we will link in the i button above and in the video description below. Now that means mastering them now sets you up for some serious powerful tools down the line. And beyond that, they save you a lot of time. So no more repetitive edits, style or reposition complex layout in one single move. So if consistency is your goal, module groups got you covered. They ensure every element in the group follows the same styling rules, which is a lifesaver for branded sites. Now, module groups are not flying solo. They are part of DV's bigger, bolder vision for web design. They fit right into the ecosystem along with other standout features. For example, you can pair them with nested rows to craft an amazing looking layout like a pricing table or team showcase all neatly grouped. Then there are design variables which let you apply consistent style like brand colors and font across your groups. Update once and every group reflects it instantly. So here you have it. Everything you need to know about module group in DV5. They are your ticket to designing faster, smarter and some jaw dropping consistency. Whether you are preparing for dynamic layouts, craft Crafting reusable CTAs or building standout sites. Module groups make it happen. So ready to dive in? Then go ahead and grab DV5 Public Alpha today and start experimenting today. And if you want more details, check out our blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll catch you in the next video.